Alrighty. Onwards. Doctor's office? Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. We've reached a consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Had you known when you were a child, miss, it could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? Unmarried and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? Uh, no, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'd help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there is a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Anything interactable? No. Oh, the clock. Oh. I bet the ticking clock uh, is not something she likes. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. Still got pretty bad taste in animals, though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem, it's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh. Guess that explains the ones in the house. Alright, we just need two more. We need a purple. And a blue. Let's just see if there's a conversation here. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Hmm. Can we talk to this person? No. Let's use these. Still need purple. What are we missing here? Can we talk to this shadow person? No. Bag, we already interacted with that. 
the bed? No? I don't see anything else. Ah! Back here. Plain Tawny handbag. Yeah. Alright, four, huh? So... Ooh... Huh. That does this whole row. This and this. Well, if we do this one and this one, this one and this one, and then this one and th oh. It's not for... I think we're gonna have to do diagonal on this. Yeah. So I think it might be diagonal. And then, oh, Jesus, no. Yeah, diagonal and then this, and then this, and then this. Yeah, I think that does it. Diagonal, and then... Here, yep. Here. And here. Boom! How far back is this? Childhood! Or, or teenagehood. Psst, look. I know. I can't believe you once paid to see this crap in the theater. No, you idiot. Look, we leaped. We're getting spooky music. Oh no, just mystery music, okay. Holy overcooked macaroni! A kid's in a theater all by himself. What a loser. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. That's... different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. But that aside, how can anyone last through this rubbish? He's sneaking out. He's probably just going to the bathroom. And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? Oh, right. Whoa, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just go look for mementos. Hmm, we're looking for yellow. What? What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. Okay, that's kind of creepy, to be honest. I didn't even know that was a thing we could do. Whoa! Let's check the restroom, I guess? Nope. Still ain't talking to no emo teenager. All right. What if we get rid of literally everyone? You know that poking them out of the way like that doesn't do nothing, right? Then why complain?
Is this a like needle in a haystack thing where we're looking for the right person? Oh, hey, there he is. Getting stood up? Now that's a Kodak moment. You relate well with your kin, I see. Hey, I want to construct him a lady friend. Can we construct a lady friend for him, Eva? No. Aww. Oh, Neil. Oh look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. Uh... Did I do a bad? Well, there's nothing here. Hate to say it, but I guess I have to nag something out of him again. All yours. At least there's no olives this time. Hey! Uh, River? You were in here this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? We were watching the movie together, and then you left. You weren't watching it together. I didn't even know you were there. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. What's wrong? You're so weird. Yikes. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do! Come on, let's head back in before it ends. feel like I should make a clever remark. You feel wrong. Well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. I made it spooky on accident. Whoops. Hey! The platypus. Two, three, four, and five. Boom. Platypus time. All right. Five, huh? Okay, this one's going to be hard. Um. Well... Do this, and then, oh, Jesus. One. Just one, two, three, four, and then five. No, because that doesn't solve these. One. No. One. Two. Turns that back off. Three. Turns that back on. Mm, nope. Wait, one, two, three. One, 
two, three, four, five. I think does that. I think that does it. Yep. Boom. Haha. <laughs> I'm surprised at how well I'm doing at these, honestly. I expected to do much worse. You know, I think this platypus is growing on me. Mostly just for convenience, but hey. Come on, dude, grow some balls. Uh, it's not that. Look, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened, no one will know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But what if she tells someone? Or he yells at me. Don't be a little wuss! Or... Or says yes, but really means no. Shh, quit worrying. Who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear Lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straighten your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be all right. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, what are you? Shh. Him. <clears throat> uh, hello. Uh, he hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Then why didn't you... Never mind. Um, that's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? Dude, just leave her alone. <laughs> About platypus? No. Oh. I er uh, I think that's great. <laughs> hey, you wanna get lighthouses? Huh? There are exactly sixteen second order Fresnel lighthouses in the country left. Nine of them are coastal. One of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Um... Say... So you, you wanna go catch a movie together sometime? I don't know. Uh, th that's okay. I'll give you time to consider it. I can't. Uh, why? There's no date or time. I mean, that's just good date etiquette. Or good asking out etiquette, right? Like, if you're gonna ask someone on a date, instead of just being like, Yo, do you want to ever do something together someday in the future, maybe? Be like, hey, there's this thing at this time. Or like, I have some time free on this day, around this time, would you like to go do a thing then? Like, give people finite options. Or else you're making them do all the work. Um, oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Well? You have a, I 
think the system froze. Yes. Uh, oh, great! Never mind. I guess we'll work out the details later? Um, I'll just... <sighs> what? What are you looking at me for? <sighs> you think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. You of all people should relate. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. It might as well be. Can I interact with the platypus? Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle. No, not really, never mind. What the heck were you doing in there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would've just barged in there and be all like, uh. Game engine problems. I think that's a, a hey, maybe? Hey! You! Go out! Me! You! Now! That's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. I mean, it was pretty terrible. Uh, we need a yellow? Dear Lord, can you believe you got me to take this stupid class? Oh, come on, it's fun! Only if you can paint! You'll get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. That obviously never happened. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Why do we have to dr draw stupid barrels anyway? Is it the barrel? No. Is it the candle? Nope. Bucket? No. Ooh, there's a lot more place here. Requires three bars of memory to proceed. Okay. Anyone? Anyone at all? <sighs> Alright then. River, why don't you answer it? I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alvar Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14 by the... Okay, okay, I only asked for the date. <laughs> but see, was that so hard? Good lord. Does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really. Though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. That's a wrap. You chumps better be, uh, better next time. An atrium? We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these court lines are rectangles in his head. Shit, what? I do not know enough about... Uh... Gyms to know if this is incorrect or something. Ugh. Fine. You win. Booyah! <laughs> Alright. We need one more and it's red.
Pass the backpack. Yeah, she's unique, but she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day with that creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, that's a platypus. The heck's a platypus? Quit making words up. Who the fuck doesn't know what a platypus is? If you're watching this and you don't know what a platypus is, I am deeply sorry. And also just, like, Google a platypus. We're almost three hours into this thing by now. You should probably have been curious. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? Oof. It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Uh, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang out with the emos and the goths? Nicholas, stop talking. Yeah, yeah, he's... I mean, I don't think... Okay, so if you if you haven't picked up on it, um, uh, River has Asperger's. Um, Asperger's? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, honestly. Um, uh, as does Isabel. That's, that is the uh, condition being talked about in this game. Um, clearly, River didn't know that she had that until late later on in life um and i doubt nicholas knows either but there is there's a certain like there's there's a thing i guess of people not understanding other people's modes of communication or interaction uh, that frequently is the result of uh, non-neurotypical uh, behavior uh, that people, when they don't understand it, when they are neuro neurotypical and they, they encounter those modes of interaction or communication, they just label it as weird. Um, and especially, you know, in high school, that comes attached with a lot of baggage and Nicholas is playing into that really heavily here um, there's sort of an irony I think um, if you compare it to his character later in the game where obviously like he appears to be in a relationship with Isabel or maybe just close friends with Isabel who also has Asperger's um, And, like, the, the ways that he talks to John later in the game are much more compassionate than him talking here. So I think there's some implied growth, but fuck, man. Teenage Nicholas is a shitlord. <laughs> I do not. He's not a good guy. He, uh... Or at least he's not a very empathetic or compassionate person. Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair... The fact we got a name for them says a lot, too. Look, Nick. I just... I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. Seeing the arcs go in the opposite direction is interesting. It is, yeah. How the heck would you, being with her change your own identity? Surprisingly on point, <laughs> Nicholas. Um... And also, that's a real shit reason to ask someone out. I mean, you just be some guy who hangs out with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. This is surprisingly insightful for your previous comments, dude. <laughs> if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? 
look, Nick. The point is I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. Ooh, big red flag there. So, you want her for what she has, but not for her? That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong, though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandmas tell you. Ooh. That's a... That's gonna be a big ol' yikes for me. Wait, so... This guy's some kind of a human-hogging hipster? That's sorta... Of, uh... Disturbing. The most human thing Neil has said all game. You know... Sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school. Everyone's a bastard. But, hey. Welcome to the club. Wait, so... This is what he told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began making these creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago? I guess she's pretty good at holding a grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. And go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Uh, we still need a thing, which is probably from talking to her. Reasons and intents inside. It's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine went pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, it swam right out the window. Sounds about right. Ooh, no memento, huh? Platypus? I just... Love, how every time we see this thing, we're guaranteed a free memory link. It must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. Hmm. I think that platypus has some significance we're missing. Should I even... No need. I'm all good now. Kame! Oh, for walnut's sake. Kame! Hey! Not cool, Eva. You. N <laughs> you never cock block someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? Yikes, Neil. That's six moves. Oh, Jesus. Um. Okay. So if we do this one. That's one, two, three, and then four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, 
sex. Oh! I'm going to school now, Ma. Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy. Going up so fast. <laughs> Heck. What if he was a girl? Would she still nickname him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in EY. Joey, Julie, Julie sounds cute. It sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Ah, jealous? Oh, yes, so jealous. We're to be super normative friends. Any interactables in here? Ha, ah, soccer ball. Hmm, that's our way out. What is this thing that keeps showing up? Looks like a block inside a black or a, a glass case for some reason. There were several of them. Is that supposed to be a desk with a computer on it? Maybe? There were a couple of them at school. I see pickles! Well, pickled olives. Oh, blech. Not again. Pickled cucumbers. Holy crap! My mind's totally blown. You're pretty easily impressed. Various books with smudged titles. Need something red. Something blue. Hmm. Couch. Yeah. Alright, something blue. Clock. Well, to be fair, a ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Yo. When I was uh, much younger, I would visit my grandparents' house. Their guest bedroom had a clock that ticked, and it creeped the shit out of me. I don't know why, but like, the ticking of the clock in the darkness freaked me out. Seven? No, another six. Okay, um... I don't think this is a corner piece. This is a... One... Two... Three... Four... No. One, two, three, four, hmm, those ones off, this toggles, these bottom two off, and the other is on. Oh no, that might actually be right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, doesn't quite do it. One, two, 
one, two, three, four. Well, that handles that. The only thing we, we're not hitting is this bottom row, really. So if we one, two, three, that was the bottom left, four, toggles this off, five, toggles it back on, six, I think that does it. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, five, six. Woo! Okay, now they're getting tough. <laughs> How far back are we going? Uh, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Eva? What the hell is that? Uh, oh, uh, is our, is our client dying? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? Hey, more nerd references. That is a Castle in the Sky reference for those uninitiated. I don't know. It's just not linking the memories together for construction. There must be a malfunction within the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry. We've already gotten the teenage years saved. We might still be able to do this. Alright. But I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Hmm, something tells me that's important. What oh, a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Hey, we're back here. Jenna boy! That's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. That'll have to be enough. 
Aye. All that's left to do is linking your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! You'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this, then? What am I? Um, this is just a copy, a canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you're merely an algorithm traced from Johnny. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh. Don't be so sensitive, he's not real, you know. If you truly believed that, why did you even care to explain? I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Uh, Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Damn. Ooh. Huh. Ah, all of our night's work. I didn't notice that there were four for each one. He's a floating head! What the? At least give me a warning first. What can I say? I like being ahead. I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you'd say yes. Let's do this fast. I still feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass this desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Line up the two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Oh. Okay. Has the rabbit in common? We need to get the rabbit here. Plant here. And then rabbit and then platypus will be the next one. Or not? The book, huh? Hey Eva, check this out! Om nom 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 nom. Seriously? God damn it, Neil. There is no platypus here. Uh oh. The bag isn't common between these two. The clock is common here. Uh, I don't think we did that right.
Oh, did we not need to line them up all the way down the line? Ding! It's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. I feel like I've done something horribly wrong. Alright, let's check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. I have a feeling this didn't work out. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories... I feel more than just having happened again. They're exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. But he always went wanted to go to the moon. Friends? <laughs> Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu. Again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here. I'm gonna send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Hmm. Maybe we did something wrong. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for his ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Neil? Did you see To the Moon? How was it? Eh, it's a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my movies to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. To the moon, darling. 
Oh, Henry. Oh, dear Lord. I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. I guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Platypus? Nope. Door? Need to traverse through John to check the results. Oh. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. It's all the same. After tonight, I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. All right, Johnny. L Lily? It's kind of a horrifying thing. Hold on, let me just disappear this person. Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting, let's go get a good spot. Wait... I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed! Hey, don't squeeze! 